Hello, I'm Jason Solomons and if you're travelling with Virgin Atlantic this month, you're probably already excited about our legendary selection of entertainment. So, to whet your appetite further, here are just some of the newest films you'll be able to catch in October on board. Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa, pulls off the trick of being funny for its full running time without any let-up in Alan's awfulness. A triumph of British cringe-making humour. Enjoy me. Everyone else says. Behind the Candelabra finds Michael Douglas on terrific form as Liberace, with sparkly support from Matt Damon in director Steven Soderbergh's fond farewell to cinema. Ah, this is fun. White House Down finds Jamie Foxx as the president. Yes, I know he was Ray Charles, but let's go with it. He's now hostage in his own house, and only maverick cop Channing Tatum can save him. Damn right. World War Z is a tense blockbuster with some amazing scenes where Brad Pitt tries to find a cure for swarms of zombies and save the world. Go, Brad! 42 is a finely crafted baseball movie that looks at how Jackie Robinson became the first black player in the major leagues, knocking racism for a home run. I'm just a ball player. The Heat takes the odd couple cop comedy and gives it a female spin, revealing Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy as a great double act. The Iceman puts that fine character actor Michael Shannon in the chilling lead role of a true-life mafia hitman who did a job his loving family never suspected. I can imagine what you've been telling them. The Lone Ranger may be famous as a flop, but give Johnny Depp and Army Hammer a chance and actually you'll find a decent western with some breathtaking set pieces. Justice is what I seek, Kimosabe. Man of Steel tells the story of Superman. Again, going back to how he fell to Earth, met Lois Lane and took on Zod before getting a pair of glasses. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. Pain and Gain is Transformers director Michael Bay on restrained form, telling the crime caper story of a bunch of bodybuilders turned criminals, with Dwayne Johnson, Mark Wahlberg and lots of oil. I watch a lot of movies, Paul. I know what I'm doing. The Way Way Back conjures up those heady days of summer in a lovely coming-of-age comedy about a teenager, a water park and a first kiss. You got a hell of a kid here. And finally, This Is The End is a brilliant self-referential comedy about the apocalypse at James Franco's house, where Hollywood's current comedy pack play seriously unflattering versions of themselves on the run from the devil and Emma Watson. Of course, we've much more besides, including dazzling documentaries, the grooviest music and classiest TV shows from around the world. However, we'd love to hear about your TV guilty pleasures. Let us know the cheesiest programmes you secretly love to watch and we'll show the best, or the worst, on Vera. Mine's smash, by the way. But before diving into trash television, be sure to catch our highlight show, What's on Vera? Very much a guilt-free pleasure, where in-depth reviews, clips and interviews will help you find your personal gem, inner happiness and world peace. Well, maybe not that last bit, but we do try. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you up there. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.